Hello everyone and welcome to Wervin's World and welcome to my let's play of X Rebirth. As you can see here the Gigarim has now landed and let's see what it does. It's docking at energy array. It doesn't have anything yet. I guess we have to be a little bit patient. But it's hard to be patient. You were a lightsaber, literally. And payment seems hardly enough thanks. Yeah, I just killed some people that came to me. Ooh. Energy cells. And what's it gonna do with it? Nothing yet. But I, I think I'm starting to get a model of how this trading works in my head. Uh, one thing, though, it still doesn't make sense, but we'll go through them. Um, yeah, OK, so you're still trading. Um, basically, as we can see here, this one um, is now docking also at the medical dispensary and it should soon arrive and load up again. Uh, this one here is not doing anything. This one here is actually trading with an energy array to buy energy cells. And this one here is still searching for trades. Um, this one is now undocking. No, don't tell me you're going to search for trades. Then I'm going to be really annoyed. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. So basically, anyway, uh, in the meantime, uh, the model I had in my head is basically the fact that my medical dispensary has a certain amount of water makes it have trade offers um, that it wants to buy water, but it wants to buy them for cheaper than normal because who is firing at me? No one. Okay. Um, what's happening? Is there any red on the map? I don't see any. Um, basically, when I went to this water buying order somewhere, where was that? Um, Well, here, for example, this one is buying space fuel and it's willing to pay a fair amount of them for them um, because it probably doesn't have so much of it. So probably my bulk one here, if it's space fuel, um, where's that container? This one is actually going to dock. Probably to buy those medicines. This one's searching for trades. Ah, boo, this one is searching for trades still. Maybe something happens in the availability or that someone else already did a trade. Um, but yeah, so the more or the, the more of it they have, the less expensive they want to buy it. So at some point it will the buy and the sell orders of this one will overlap with those of other stations and then they will go there what that doesn't explain though is when i go to energy array and i say feel free to sell everything at like two credits then it it wasn't taken into account so unless this thing is indeed actually bugged out because well this one is not doing anything at the moment searching for trades again so annoying um 
that will basically keep everything balanced. So if you have, if here, for example, we have a lot of water in our hold, then we will not pay as much for water as we normally would. And that's why my liquid gigram is not filling this up because he would pay more for it. Um, so I wonder if I can mess with that. I think I can. Um, if I would put, for example, this at 500 credits, it might still go out. Um, let's actually, for fun, let's put it at 20. Just to play with it and get an understanding of the system. So now we're willing to buy water for 20. So then the water gigaram should be like, ooh, that sounds good to me. So now it's still searching for trades, but we also haven't really given it any time yet. So once we do that, um, it will be interesting to see. This one bought more medical supplies again to drop off. So that's quite nice. I'm still searching for trades though so i think i'll just leave it uh the way it was um just so that we're not buying water from for 20 from others um there we go now he can decide for himself what he wants to uh pay for the water all right, so I thought it was gonna be awesome, but now I'm a little bit disappointed that that Gigram actually picked up stuff, but then didn't use it. Um, but I guess there's not much we can do about it because I think we set everything right with this one, right? So um, just to make sure that we have everything on standard. We're not restricting trade. We are not managing trade offer prices ourselves. You don't need a budget. Um, how can I get everything back? There we go. So now we got our 707 back so that we basically know whenever it has money, then they must have sold something. Cool. Yeah, so now the question is, how do we get water and energy here? So if we look at the sectors or even the zone, well, let's first start with sector uh, energy cells. There's no selling going on. And water, there is also no selling going on. Um, if we go sector or zo system wide though, then we can see that there is energy cells being sold and there is also some water being sold. Now, the question is, how do we make water? Because I am thinking we have that construction ship, so we could, close to this one, we could add an energy cell, uh, energy array, for example, and then we can very quickly bring those energy cells here. We can also even make a space fuel distillery and stuff like that. So we can... I think for a nice project would be to kind of make this thing self-sufficient and it might not be the best uh, thing in order to make money immediately like maybe there's some some sectors that really need a certain station or something but i think it would kind of be a fun project and also would be very useful in order to uh, learn better um how all this stuff works so oh, we're being attacked again
Stop attacking my station. It's it's good there. Oh yeah, this one we also upgraded. I hadn't checked that yet. Oh. Nice. But yeah, it overheats fairly quickly. Um. <laughs> it overheats really quickly. But in that time, at least we annihilate stuff. So that's good. Now, everything's safe again. Uh, the bailer is still here. Did you lose all your... Yeah. I think it had. Oh. I have the feeling it doesn't hang as much as it used to, which is nice. I think my bailer used to have a fair amount of ships under it, but apparently it doesn't have any anymore. Interesting. You were a so now we're getting paid by our own station? <laughs> or I'm not too worried though. I think probably just something happened with the um, with the buying prices in that sector. So you're actually doing a good job. That's nice. Did I see something red in his own? I did. A Marauder Titterell. Hello. Ah, you're being attacked. Well, I can at least... I wanted to board it. Hopefully I now get the credit for it. That would be nice. And maybe there's something cool coming from it. Do you have some stuff for me? I don't see any. No, oh, and I guess we also didn't get any any rewards for it, which is fair enough. We didn't really do anything, but I thought let's try anyway. Yeah, so if we want to make water, um, how are we going to do that? I have that other construction ship, um, which is still in my squad. So I should be yeah here. I'm here to assist you, sir. These are the stations we can build for you now. Okay, well, that's good. Produces wheat. Yeah, so it seems that it produces water, right? I mean, here it seems that it should do something else. Um, 
Build cost is 4.3 million. I say we do it. Unless... Foodstuffs, ship tax, spice plantation, staple spice. Yeah, so... Unless it needs ice, then we'll be in trouble if we make it here, probably. Because um, we won't be or be getting any ice here. Here we could get ice in Frozen Circuit. Um, let me quickly Google it. I think it should not interfere with the actual <laughs> recording if I now Google it. Yeah, according to the wiki, um, uh, let's see if I'm still recording. <laughs> I think I am. Uh, according to the wiki, it just needs energy cells, which is interesting. So what do we need ice asteroids for? Um, so I'm inclined to just try and, and build it here. No, you we gave. What other offers could I make? Sure. We hope to see you again, sir. I remember not really decking this construction ship out because I was not going to use it for very long. It does have some construction URVs, though. It has four. Um, I might want to give it more though. So if I go to always the wrong zone first. is fine um, maybe I'll even give it some drones because I really didn't fully deck it out it's a bit expensive but and the problem is then that we don't really have much at all in the sense of money um, how is this going? So we should be making half a million credits an hour and losing 70,000. But I think that is all um, based on just basically getting rid of everything. So I'm not sure what this means. But basically this just uh, assumes that we sell all of these things for the average price. Um, which we're clearly not doing, Mr. Gigram. Searching for trades. At least this guy is doing a good job. He's just selling all the stuff that the medical dispensary is making. And we're, how are we doing? We're making 
and the pharma platform is running out the earliest and that's probably still because of the narcotics but the narcotics lab is will be running for a long time so that should not be any problem so now we need to make some more money before we can actually do something um So we'll probably have to do a couple of those defense missions. Also, you should leave my squad. Otherwise, he's going to follow me all the time. And that's a bit dangerous. No missions. missions how boring Because <laughs> that went so well last time. Let's see how it goes. At least we've got a way better shield now. And also a better inertial hammer. Wonder. Yeah, it doesn't really seem to heat up that much quicker. But yeah, this one definitely <laughs> heats up very quickly. Raiding party. Are you in my squad or what are you doing here? No, I only have a construction vessel in my squad. Oh no, I don't. I have way more. So, Xenon, what's up? Normally they tend to attack fairly quickly. I'm actually not sure if this was a good idea. I'm kind of in that same area as where my stations are. Still though, where are the enemies? Mission completed. Oh, that was easy. Easy 400,000. <laughs> Here at least none of my own things should be in danger. Entering 
Marauder Titterell. That would be nice to board. Oi. Cargo lifter, cargo lifter. Hello there. Not attacking me, that's nice. Guess that means you're free game then. I want your jumping thing. Many turrets. Turret, 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 turret. Plasma capital field generator. Force field projectors. Jump tunnel device. There we go. Boom. All right, so I guess we should go for that drone bay, but maybe first kill some turrets. So where do you have your drone bay? It is... I have a lot of those things. All right, drone launch pad. Um. Clean up a little bit, but I keep ah. I keep targeting something else, and then ah. It did have another engine. Yeah, the particle repeater is not that usable now that I've upgraded it. I mean, it wasn't very usable anyway, so I guess that's fine. I should be a bit more careful. Thank you for dealing with an enemy of our station. How do you get so many drones? I thought I killed your drone bay.
Uh, it's getting a bit dangerous. Ow. It was you, wasn't it? Alright, while my shield regenerates and Hit a me, hit a me, plasma. Alright. So it seems that it's only turrets left. So I think if I accidentally, or if I actually click board, it will tell us where to shoot. But hey, you should not have access anymore to drones. Oh. Hope they don't get killed. Oh. most of them made it because I thought Aye, this is terrible. I'm losing my marines. So I guess I should do it like the way I always do. Now I thought I would try it the other way, basically, where she tells me first what to do and then basically... Yeah, that's a shame. So apparently it doesn't work like that. We just first have to disable everything and then do what she says. Four marines remaining. I ah, that's a shame. But I'm sure we can get over it. Mission failed, yeah. That's a big shame because we had some good, well trained Marines. So I'll never trust Yisha again. I'll just do all the. Um, I'll really just bring it down to the boarding strength that I can take and then uh, send them. Still going to destroy it though. Unless. Hey, my friend. I'll give you two minutes and no more. Hmm. 
So now we're gonna get marines again. They're not they're all gonna be newbies. But um if we can get this down to a sufficiently low boarding strength then we should be fine because we now have a boarding strength of very low probably um do we not have I guess our actual marine person is also dead then, isn't it? Yep, so we need one of those as well. Because now I guess I also can't say board, so I need to... Yes. Yeah. Boarding experience, five. Sounds good. So what I'll do then is I'll start killing turrets. Yeah, see now I can board again. So not all is lost yet. Because um, now we have a boarding strength of... 24 very low so I'm not sure whether we ever can board this but we'll see You have stuff left. You have a ton of turrets. Marauder Titterell. And another force field projector. And another force field projector. On the other side of the sh hey, stop that immediately. There, the drone launch pad is up again. Boarding resistance of 55. So let's see if we bring it back to a very little amount of health. has a ton of health. And I can't, like when I press uh, the buttons, I, I don't see any other systems anymore. Doesn't mean it doesn't have any, because sometimes it suddenly has some again. Well, not telling me about it. So I'm not entirely sure. But it seems that pretty much everything is dead. I think if we get it to like 10% health, then we have maybe a chance to get it to low enough boarding strength. But it'll be close, I think. 
I think we'll probably have to board some weaker ships first before doing this. But we'll see. And 10. With a boarding strength of 12, boarding resistance. We have 24. Let's, sure let's board this thing. Hey, why do you have an antimatter drive again? Damn you, repair drones. Or did I not destroy that in the first place? That'd be nice if we actually manage this. Then we would have a very strong Titerel. I want to make sure it keeps being at about 10%. Maybe even less. In the meantime, I can uh, Nope, searching for trades. You are trading again, that's awesome. Trading with unknown station. No marines lost. Nope. More pods in flight. It's kind of hanging again. But it's repairing quite quickly, right? So I'm just going to bring it back. Yeah, it can make medical supplies for another half an hour. Look at how quickly it's repairing. Oh, this would be so awesome, because then basically my marines would get a little bit of experience again. Because I was very sad that I, <laughs> I lost them. Should be any time now. Haha, <laughs> we did it. Awesome. So, you come back. Awesome. We have a Marauder Titerel. That's a huge ship. So how are um, Marines doing? Uh, units, 12 veterans out of 38. That's quite good. No elites, but already our boarding strength is 35 instead of what was it, 20 something? So that's awesome. All right, the episode has been going on for quite a while. I'll put the episode to a close here, but I hope you had fun and see you next time.